Right. So next we're going to go into uh, step two. So step two, uh, adding the details with the, for the roof. Okay. So we click in this. Yeah, that's an isolation mode. And then right here, I'm going to uh, use the composite selection tool. So select vertex and then control, we'll control key and go to polygon and then click row row. And then after that, uh, we're going to detach this. Okay. So go to here and detach as a roof. All right. Membrane. And then we're going to pull it slightly inwards. And then from the outer shell, select number three. Okay. Go for uh, border. Shift and drag and pull it down. All right. And also number two with A12. And go to here. Chamfer. All right. There you go. And I think this is quite annoying. Like clicking G and yeah, turn off the grid uh, temporarily. And then uh, I'm going to add a table smooth to it. Okay. Control. Okay. And we. Convert it back to the poly. So, uh, if you take a look at the, the previous picture that we have, uh, that for mushroom normally we have some details at the back uh, underneath the membrane. We call it membrane. Okay. So we can click and shift so like that, but it seems to have a bit of problem. So it connects to, to here. So initially I wanted to select this this one column and then the second column. Oh, sorry, the third column, fifth column, and then we skip one. Okay, but this doesn't work. Okay, so I have a solution for it. Okay, by deleting uh, the middle part. Okay, if you want to further, like if you want to perfect ones, well, you can actually go to here and delete and go back to here. Shift and pull it. Shift and scale. I'm using shift and scale. Okay, shift and scale, put it in the middle part, and we can add a collapse to it. Okay, so once we you reconstruct that surface, so if you put shift, you see it stopped right there. Okay, so we can do this. Okay, so hold the control of the selection, click and shift to select the polygon in loop mode. And of course, like uh, when I'm doing this, uh, it's not like the um, it's not like we're having like 100 or 200 segments, okay? It's kind of a little, so we we don't really have to spend like an hour selecting it. But if we do have like 200, then probably have to do some math calculations. Okay, make pair of it, and then we delete the rest, and then we duplicate all along. Then we can get the same results also. Okay, control, shift, control, shift. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is um, clicking inset, okay, scale down the polygons just a little bit. Okay, that's probably too much, like 0. Let's say we try 0 0.02. Okay, I think that's the perfect one. All right, now for that, we're going to have to click extrude, or probably bevel. Bevel is better. Okay, in case that we want to scale, we can scale. Okay, so that's how much I think. Okay, that's fine. I think that, that's enough, like without any skill. Okay, so right here we're gonna click the grow, grow, control I. Now and select the metal part by using alternate. And we can go to here and click insert. Okay, next is bevel, so we should be having the same bevel. Okay, once we're done, we're just gonna add a table smooth. And there you go. Right, we complete the the details for the roof. Okay. Now maybe I'm just gonna add a bit of like a uh, variation to the shapes. Select like that and then add um, soft selection and then we're gonna pull it down with that. Okay, so this is part two done. Alright.